Well, how about that as a way to get the night started here in Indianapolis? A double overtime affair. Michigan State beating Kentucky. Now it is time for game two here inside Gamebridge Fieldhouse. As the Duke Blue Devils and the Kansas Jayhawks, they have been waiting a while to play this one, but now they are ready and raring to go. It's a new season. New city. It is rocking right now. We are ready for the tip. A new season and a chance for the Jayhawks to defend their crown. We're going to be defending a national championship. And we know we're going to have a chip on our shoulder to try to get back there. New era begins for the Blue Devils with a new coach and new star. Right, right there. It's the same identity of winning culture. This team knows how to put on a show. It's a new season. It's a new classic. The Champions Classic. How much fun is this one going to be? Duke and Kansas, two iconic programs battling here for the second game of the State Farm Champions Classic, all a part of an ESPN Sonic blockbuster. We are here in Indianapolis. Great crowd, great teams, great event, great first game, to say the least. A double overtime win for Michigan State. Now Jay Billis is with me for the second game between Duke and Kansas. Let's start with Duke. Yeah. It's the dawning of a new era. John Shire taking over after the legendary coaching career of Mike Krzyzewski. They are 2-0 so far. John Shire, as we know, has many things going for him. Been in the program a long time as a player, an assistant coach, an associate head coach, and we know he brought in one heck of a recruiting class. The number one ranked recruiting class. Uh, five guys ranked in the top 50. This is a recruiting class with tremendous size, skill, and versatility. Derek Lively the second headlines it. Derek Whitehead will not play tonight, but he's going to be back soon. But you've got a bunch of guys that are lengthy. It's an NBA-sized recruiting class. But really, the, the key to this Duke team, I think, it is a returnee. And that is Jeremy Roach. Uh, Jeremy Roach had a spectacular NCAA tournament last year. He's really the leader of this team. He's the sole captain for John Shire this year, playing with a great degree of confidence, averaging 13 points, six assists. His voice and his leadership are going to be paramount for this Duke team to reach his potential. As for Kansas, they are also 2-0 in the young season. This is game three of four of the school-imposed suspensions for head coach Bill Self and assistant coach Curtis Townsend. So Norm Roberts, who's been with Bill Self forever, also was the head coach at St. John's for six years. He is in charge of the team tonight. And as, all, as is always the case, yeah, they're the defending national champions, but they've got some turnover on the roster. They certainly lost a lot, but they have a lot coming back. I mean, Jalen Wilson... Uh, Averages 20 points, 10 rebounds a game, has really improved his play. Dewan Harris, a, a player that can dominate a game without ever taking a shot. An excellent defender, has got spectacular vision. Uh, they brought in Kevin McCuller, who transferred in from Texas Tech, who's an outstanding defender. In fact, McCuller at Texas Tech had 17 points against Duke last year in the NCAA tournament. And so you take a look, you lose Ochai Abaji, Christian Brown into the NBA, David Cormack, who in my judgment should have been the most outstanding player in the NCAA tournament last year. But with Jalen Wilson back, one of the best rebounders in the country, and then the key newcomer, Grady Dick, who's averaging 17 and a half points per game, and then Kevin McCuller, who just blends into everything that Kansas does on both ends of the floor, can drive it, uh, a good rebounder, positional size, and an excellent defender, one of the semifinalists for the Naismith Defensive Play of the year award last year. Brady Dick as good a shooter as there is in the freshman class this year across the country with more on him. Here's Holly Rose. Brady Dick has been waiting for this moment for all of his life. He grew up as a diehard Kansas fan. His mom told me his entire room was decorated in KU stuff and he watched his three older siblings all went to Kansas. He also has a special connection tonight playing against one of his high school buddies for the first time in college. He and Mark Mitchell have been best friends with roommates playing together since eighth grade. They both went to the same prep academy together, and he said this is going to be really special. These two guys that know each other so well competing tonight. But for Grady Dick wearing the Kansas uniform, what a full circle lifetime story. We'll see how he does tonight against Duke and his old friend. Holly, thank you. One of the very, uh, one of the many cool subplots, if you will, in this game here tonight. Just having Duke and Kansas on the same floor is cool enough, and we hope the second game is just as entertaining 
as the first game was as the Jayhawks and the Blue Devils uh, are just about ready to go here in Indianapolis Kansas six and five all time in the in the Champions Classic Duke is seven and four but Kansas has won two of the three between the two schools in this outstanding event which we're excited to say is coming your way again next year in Chicago on November the 14th. A young Duke team extremely talented but young they do have a couple of transfers in Ryan Young from Northwestern Jacob Grandison from Illinois so that lends a little bit of experience and for Kansas again a mix of the old and the new Kansas has beaten Omaha by 25 North Dakota State by 23 Duke beat Jacksonville by 27 USC upstate by 46 so needless to say Jay a big step up for both programs here tonight yeah this will be the toughest game that each program has played in this young season and for Duke John Shire has built his program and the foundation has been defense and this team has defended very well the first couple games this is going to be a, a special challenge because of the way Kansas moves the ball from side to side ready now for the tip of our sonic blockbuster matchup and Duke in blue with the opening possession of the game and the ball in the hands of their captain Jeremy Roach